Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this series. So this is Learn Tarot the Twin Flame Way with me and this is free. So during this series we're going to be learning all about how to read the tarot intuitively and the kind of general meanings as well. So you can interpret the cards to the best of your ability for yourself that will really help your own journey and to read for others to give guidance, to give advice, and to really be there for others too, and focus on service. So whether you know everything about the tarot, or you're beginning today for the first time, welcome, thank you for being here and sending you so much love. And I really wanted to do this series and really base it around the Twin Flame journey. I have already done a Learn Tarot series in the playlist you can check out, but this is going to be more kind of connected with the journey and the divine feminine and the divine masculine angles and the energy created within. So what I'm going to do for this series, because this is an introduction today, introducing you to what this series will be all about, I'm going to bring in five decks of cards. Now, if you've got a deck of cards, that's really handy because you can obviously look at your card as well and you know interpret it yourself and read it intuitively and compare it with the guidance coming through or maybe you're wondering what deck to buy right now and you may decide to choose one of these fantastic decks we're using for this series so what i'm going to do we're going to bring in the radiant rider weight tarot now this is a traditional tarot deck it's something that's easy to read easy to use very visual and very beautiful too. You know, it's a great starter deck, but it's also great for, you know, whatever level of tarot reading you are at, because it's such a good deck to use. And I love this deck. I use this a lot during personal readings. It's very powerful. So this would be a great deck to use. And, you know, any deck that you have right now that you love to use, that you want to use, you can use that right now to pull out the intuitive messages. So we're going to use the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot. Now this is going to give the general messages. So what I'm going to do with this when we are doing each card, we're going to look at it directly and, you know, point things out in the cards and go through it with intuition. And then we're going to bring in the twin flame aspect of each energy, of each card. So I'm going to use the twin flame message tarot for this. And this is a deck that has messages on every card. So it's about the journey itself and how the energy of the card is affecting the journey itself too. And we're also going to bring in the Twin Flame Tarot Made Easy. This gives the general energy of each card and it helps you to have a, a word, a go-to word that can connect you with the card. So it's easier to read. So your memory is so powerful and your mind is so powerful, it can remember things quite easily. So when you're looking at the cards, you can pick out that word and then your intuition and your guides will do the rest and tap you in with your, your power. So you read everything the way it's meant to come through. And when we're reading tarot and when we're reading oracle cards, it's very important that we leave the ego behind. So we operate from our higher self, not our lower self. That means that everything is neutral in a reading. You are just channeling the messages. And don't worry, don't go into any fear. You know, they give me a little bit of block throat when I'm doing this message. So don't worry about saying the wrong thing or speaking the wrong thing. Because the message, whatever is coming through from your angels your guide, your higher self, whatever you're being guided to say, what you're feeling in the card and what you're tuning into will resonate with the person it's meant to, whether that's a client you were connecting with or you're doing a general reading on YouTube or on social media, maybe you're doing it on TikTok or Instagram or on Facebook, whoever's meant to hear the message will hear the message. So trust in that. Trust in your power as a psychic being, as a spiritual being connected with source and someone who's following their truth and their purpose. And that's you. We're also going to bring in the Divine Masculine Message Tarot and the Divine Feminine Message Tarot. Now, when I created these decks, I wanted to create a message 
so around the car but also something you can work with as a message deck so these are like direct messages coming through about the energy of the card and what the masculine or the feminine is going through or learning or understanding at this time so five very powerful decks of cards so maybe you want to you know as, as you're watching these readings and you're connecting you want to use these cards yourself so the radiant ride awake is available through amazon and it's available in most places too and all the other decks the four decks that i've created there's a link in the description box below which will take you to the website to buy them very powerful decks so you'll know which deck you're resonating with more and more maybe you resonate with all five decks as you go through so we're going to start with each card so i'm going to start with the major arcana which are the big secrets the big things we need to know the you know the the big you know understanding of things and then we're going to go into the minor arcana which are the four suits and you know each suit has power it's connected with you know something you're going through and you know we're going to talk about the elements and you know we're also going to talk about the zodiac relevance to each card and how it affects the journey and then when we've eventually done all the cards which may take a while we're going to talk about putting it all together we're going to talk about spreads shuffling because every day i'm shuffling and you know what you can do to bring out your power working with the tarot so i really hope you enjoy this series it's something you can do anytime i'm going to create a playlist dedicated to this too so you can find every video easy and you know you, you can go straight to it so i'm going to label very clearly what the, the the you know the video is about day by day as we go and some days i'll be posting you know consistently some days i won't because this is going to take a lot of energy and you know it, it's going to be an intense course for you to take so you're also going to want processing time you know not being bombarded with video after video after video so your mind can't take it or process it or handle it and that's also a good way of understanding what the masculines go through too because they need time sometimes to process what they're going through so they can handle it so on this journey as a divine feminine especially but also as the masculine we learn to understand each other's perspective each other's journey each other's mission each other's challenges we learn to have patience and faith we learn to have compassion and understanding and to trust in the heavenly guides we have so you may be connecting with the angels when you were reading the cards when you were learning in this series when you were tapping in you may have significant guides in heaven around you your loved ones spirit animals spirit guides who you connect with so you know your truth you know your power and where you harness that power from great angels to call on during this series are archangel michael because he shields you from any negative or lower energy he keeps you strong especially if there's any fear around reading tarot remember the tool you were using is a neutral thing it's just a tool it's the person using that tool that puts the energy into it that means you can make these readings good or bad you know if you're operating an ego and fear and worry you're gonna bring that out into your reading if you're operating through love and you know the understanding in your higher self you're going to bring that into the reading if you leave everything behind and make it neutral then it's going to be a more easier reading for the the, the quarant or the, the client to understand so remember don't fear the tarot don't fear using a pendulum don't fear anything it's people who don't really get that or understand that that brings fear in you know saying tarot is not of the light and that's not true okay tarot is just a tool like using charms is just a tool using angel cards it's just a tool it's the energy that's channeled that gives it power and that's with any tool you use so archangel michael will clear that energy and he will shield you against any harm or any lower energies or vibrations or psychic attack 
or anything that you may feel that's coming to you when you are using tarot or any psychic tool that you use. Another great angel to call on is Archangel Orion because he is the angel of manifestation and the angel of the universe and the angel that taps you in with your truth. Another great angel is Archangel Raziel, the psychic angel. He's a lot like the Dumbledore of heaven. So he taps you in with your psychic gifts, your psychic powers, and he helps you to embrace who you are and really tune into that to think and see and feel the card energy or to use your higher self to tap in with your intuition. So you're using all of your senses. So it's not just about what you see, it's how the card makes you feel. And that's why, you know, I'll be bringing up what reversed meanings are, but you don't need to use reverse meanings because when you are using your intuition, you'll always be guided in the right way. So how does the card make you feel? When it's aspected with other cards, that means when it's situated within other cards. So you may have a three card spread or, you know, you may have a six card spread or a salty cross spread. Whatever spread you are doing in whatever context you are using the cards, they will all work together to give an overall energy. So how does the card make you feel? So using your feelings, using your psychic senses, you're looking past you know, what you're seeing and you're feeling it all. You know, your higher self is aware and your third eye is open. So you may see something in the card that actually isn't there. You know, I do that very often. I may be shown something in the card that isn't there or something in the card looks different. You know, every time I read the cards, I always see something differently because each reading is different and unique and special. And there's something magical about that too. So always trust what you feel, what you hear, what you sense, what you smell, what you taste when you're doing a reading because it all means something. Even if you're doing a reading and you mess up a word, you know, you go to say one word and another word comes out or you mumble your words or you go through coughing or burping or stomach ache or any physical thing you feel it's all part of the reading it's the way you channel energy it's the way the angels and your guides show you the truth so you may get significant physical sensations while you're doing a reading and that may bring in fear at first because you may not understand that but when you start speaking it all out and channeling it all and expressing it all you'll notice that when something has to be said and it's said it goes away so in other words you may have tooth pain really bad when you're connecting with a card or when you're connecting with a client a person you're reading for and then it goes away as soon as you've expressed it and mentioned it because it's connected with them not you it's just something you're channeling through you and it's very powerful and intense and it's the same when you know you're, co you're coughing your throat chakra blocks up because you're connecting that something needs to be communicated or there may be some block of some kind or you know any fear that you're feeling from them or connected with their situation so you learn to kind of decipher the physical sensations and the spiritual understanding of what you are channeling in that moment so be open to everything don't be afraid to speak what you're feeling or say what you're feeling or say what you were hearing or experiencing because it will make sense to the person or the people it's meant to make sense to and that's really what this introduction is all about to introduce you to your own self and your own power because the power is within you not the cards or the deck or the type of deck it is it's you that holds that power you don't really need cards to be able to connect with heaven or channel messages but sometimes we feel more comfortable using a tool you know I do cards and I think you know I can channel without cards but I like to use cards because they are a visual tool and usually when I'm talking about something or connecting with an energy the cards that come out after will just reflect what I've already said or it will give a visual kind of prop or evidence to that so 
it's extra powerful to the person receiving the reading. But it also shows you your spiritual power and your truth and you gain confidence then reading the cards. So, you know, regardless of where you are on your journey with the tarot, because we're all, we're all one, you know, and we're all psychic, psychically powerful people. You know, we all have this gift to connect and feel and hear and understand. So nobody is better than anybody else. So you may start off a little bit shaky, baby, about using the cards. But by the end of the series, you're going to feel completely in your power. And you're going to be understanding yourself more than anything, as well as the card deck. So it's not really a journey in this series about understanding the tarot. It's about understanding yourself that allows you to read tarot or use a pendulum or use any particular tool that you use. Because some of you may use cards, you may want to learn the tarot and you get the understanding of it. But you may not decide to continue with it. You may use other things. You may become a Reiki healer or a master. You may use crystals, you may use runes, pendulum, crystal ball, you know, connecting with the other realms, trance energy, whatever you decide to use as your tool or your psychic power, you're enhancing that through the tarot. And that's what this reading and this series and all of this energy will be about. So the comment section, as always, will be on unless for any reason YouTube turn it off and then I'll do a post. Because that's also the whole point. So we can connect and ask questions and tune in. So all I ask is when you are re you know, watching these videos, watch the video before commenting. Take it all in, you know. And then if there's anything you're not sure of or anything you want clarification on or anything you want to further understand, then obviously connect and you know, write in the comment section or let me know how it's resonating with you, what the card means to you, what you're feeling in each card and each energy, because that's also a great way to share knowledge and wisdom and power, you know, and helping each other to grow and learn. That's what these videos are. So even though this isn't an interactive series, as in we're not live doing this, it's going to feel very interactive. Because you're going to be connecting with me, with the cards, with the energy. You're going to feel your twin flame all around you. You're going to feel your angels uplifting you and connecting you with who you are. And I've also got Archangel Zadkiel coming through. The angel of memory and knowledge and wisdom who helps you tune in with who you are and remember who you are and bring in power. So whichever deck you are using right now, whether you're using one of these five I've mentioned or maybe using your own tarot deck or using another one, whatever you feel comfortable with, you'll get the same vibes and energy and feelings for your journey. So very powerful. You know, a lot of people say things like you can't buy your own deck of cards because it's bad luck. And that's just a perception. You know, it's just perception. I've bought myself many, many decks of cards. I bought myself my first deck of cards, which was the Gildy Tarot. And that's also one of my very, very favourite decks. But I'm not using it for this series because I want to keep it kind of very simple using the Radiant Rider Waite because I know it's a very powerful universal deck. A lot of people love this and work with this. And also because in my previous tarot series, I've also used that deck there. So this is going to be, a, you know, a beautiful deck that we can really tune in with. And I love as well. I mean, there's different backs for, for these cards as well. But I just love the energy of the blue. It's very powerful. I feel the energy of the universe when I'm connecting with this deck, you know, like stars and the energy of the blue of Archangel Michael. It's very beautiful. So you're going to feel the angels all around you. You're going to feel your twin around you. Especially when we're using the feminine and masculine tarot, you're going to feel your own self feeling improvements and finding strength and illumination. And, you know, you may have some very vivid dreams when you're doing this series. You know, if you decide to, a lot of people say that, you know, sleep with your deck, you know, take it to bed, put it under your pillow and connect with it in that way. 
you know you may choose to mess with it a little bit and get the feel of it a little bit even if you are an avi tarot user you know if you're used to using the tarot maybe you want to you know try out a new deck and get to know that one but for, for me cards is kind of my gift and i just feel cards you know I'll, i mean i just love the energy of cards any deck i'm using and i just always feel like they are a part of me and you'll feel that way the more confident you become with the cards the more you use the cards the more you allow yourself to tap in with the cards and don't worry if you're not seeing something or feeling something straight away you just may need to sit with these a little while and connect and call on the angels and calm your energy and you know this is going to be a series where we kind of throw the guidebook away and what I've always done is tapped in intuitively with cards and you know that can trigger some people because they think you have to have the specific meaning of what the card is you know but your intuition has power your intuition is more powerful than any guidebook or what any kind of tarot genius says about the card you know your truth that's where the power comes from tapping in with what you feel when you're doing a reading and what the angels are saying to you and what your guides are guiding you to say that's where the power is so you may want to study the guidebook you may want to throw it away that's why with my decks all of my decks tarot and oracle cards there is no guidebook because they are designed and created for you so you tap in with your intuition and your own energy and you know you put your kind of feelings and emotions and power into it to get the best out of it so I hope you've enjoyed this introduction. So we're going to be starting with, you know, the, the major arcana, then the minor arcana, which are the little secrets. And then we're going to go through spreads and putting it all together, shuffling all those things. So we're going to start with the cards. And I hope you like my earrings. Now I've got tarot earrings on here and a tarot necklace. And stay tuned throughout the series. I just may be giving some of these away. So have a great day, sending you so much love. I'm really excited for the series and I'm so grateful and blessed that I can share it with you. You know, all I ask is if you are enjoying the series, if you're liking the, the readings that we're doing and the way we're tapping in, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. You may love the content anyway. And, you know, get involved in the comment section and, you know, just really kind of give it this year to tap in with the cards and your mission to bring this to life. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.